Hey everyone, welcome to Cooking Caribbean Cuisine with Larry Fanelia or Chef Larry, as I have it on the um, on the event. Now today we are going to Curacao, where Shadia Janssen is joined by De Daisy De De Heisen. Yeah, got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a whole it's a whole Dutch thing. Anyway, we'll get to that. But before we we get into Shadia's kitchen. Let me introduce the folks in the peanut gallery. Starting on my left, our old friend, George hey Stepper. Welcome hey to George. Cooking for Great Caribbean Cuisine with Larry Fanelia, or Chef. Good, good seeing you, George. And of course, we have Giselle, who is there at the moment. Jason Joseph from New York. Hey, Jace. One of New York's uh, finest photographer. Then we have Marsha Fowler. Hi. How are you, Marsh? I'm good. Marsha is, is, is elated. Uh, Jamaica. She's Jamaican. She lives in Florida, and they just won the men's and women's... 100 meters. 100 meters. You say in both. Yeah, yeah go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> and uh, next we have Richard, long-standing friend, former fellow pirate, I Hi. should say, <laughs> uh -huh. from the Pirates Pub. Uh, he's in South Africa. And I forgot to mention, George also is, is, is a fellow pirate. He's the captain. And, of course, uh, well, Giselle just joined us. Let me jump back to Giselle. Hey, Giselle. Hi, everyone. How are you? Oh, so happy to be in with my people. <laughs> All, right. All right. So we got to go to, to the kitchen now where we have Shadia Janssen and Desi Desheisen. The hoisin. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> tell Just us, tell us. Daisy, it's easier. <laughs> yeah, da Daisy. All right. Yeah. So, so tell us if, if you guys could shift just a little bit to Shadia's right. I mean, left. Sorry. So, we could see both of you guys in in frame. Oh, yes. Nice, <laughs> lovely, lovely. So, tell us what you guys will be making today. I know it's tutu and saltfish. Uh, tutu is a Curacaoan um, native dish and yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's made with uh, black eyed peas, and then mm -hmm. you add cornmeal to it, uh, basically, and some okay. other things, and that makes it into um, polenta, and it's hard, and then you can uh, eat that with okay. uh, saltfish or meat or anything or cheese. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good, good, and you have some plantains to go with it also. Yeah, I just nice. fried some. So, Daisy. Yes. Tell us, tell us a little bit about what you do on um, in, in Curacao. Well, um, I'm the manager of this newspaper. It's the Amigo Express newspaper. I hope you can see it. This is the uh, Saturday's edition um, nice. last week. And um, it's a newspaper especially for tourists. You know, Curacao is very known um, as a tourist island. And um, tourists visiting Curacao now uh, receive their daily newspaper. So this newspaper has um, um, international news in English, in Dutch, and in Spanish, and local news. So, um, I, and, and I should thank you. And I should remind folks that um, in Curacao, it's it's a it's a hodgepodge of of cultures, of yeah. um, races, because you're Dutch. Um, you, 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 your ancestors from Holland, I guess. You yeah. spend some time in Holland. Yeah. Um, and like like Trinidad, we are very culturally diverse because yeah. being that they are different cultures, they have different foods, they bring their cuisines in, and of course you you, you get a, a beautiful plethora of great dishes. And um, Giselle is is Puerto Rican, so she brings that Caribbean influence. Hola. Okay. Buenas tardes. <laughs> Buenas tardes, mami. We, we have we have a, a very. <laughs> anyway, we, we are we are doing it well here. We are doing it well here today. We are well represented. All yeah. right, so. Teddy. Boricua in the house. Boricua. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shady, let's uh, let's get busy with the tutu, and All the right. sawfish. The Okay, so I have beans cooking. I they mm -hmm. they took for they took about an hour and a half to cook. Okay. Uh, so I started that already. All I did mm -hmm. was leave them uh, 
soak in water overnight and mm -hmm. then uh, uh, boil them in the morning with um, onions and garlic. The onions don't need to be cut nicely or anything. Just cut in four yeah. and the garlic cloves just hold in okay. there. So there's not nothing too fancy about it right now. All right. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add coconut, uh, sugar, and um, what else am I adding? Yeah. Milk. And one other thing. I'll do that right now. Okay, great. We'll wait. So, oh, um, da Daisy. Yes. This particular dish that Shady is making here, um, mm -hmm. this is a, a Dutch de derived dish, or is it something that was was um, brought up no, in the in the island? It doesn't have any Dutch influence. Um, uh -huh. But I guess it has more the Latin American and African um, influence. So okay. we made our own uh, our own dish with. Uh, strangely enough, um, the, in the Curacao dishes, we don't have so much Dutch influence. We have more Latin American. And Latin Afri American and African. Afri and yeah. African influence. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, if, for we those pick, if we pick a, a Dutch menu like. Um, 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 stamp pot. That's like a, a dish of um, potatoes. We make it our own way with 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 sauce, and we make it our own thing. So. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <not we. laughs> yeah. Um, okay, that's the. Yeah, that's, a that's a coconut. Co that's a coconut. All right. It and it's like a quarter of a coconut, not and the you, whole thing. Then, okay. Then it'll be just coconut. And and the, the coconut you you blended it up in a in a blender, correct? No, I just the, grated it by hand. You grated it? All right, okay. Oh. Can you use? I didn't know you could use a blender. Yeah, yeah. You you, <laughs> you, 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 you cut it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, by you by hand, you, you have you have a blender <laughs> stood right behind you on your on your fridge. Yeah, you I just do. Cut, you just <laughs> cut the coconut up in small pieces. Uh -huh. Put it in the blender with about uh, a cup, maybe two cups of water. Yeah. And put it on on grate for about 15, 20 seconds. You you then drain it mm -hmm. in a in a sieve, and you have coconut milk. And then the the gratings you have, you could use it like what you're doing now. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's quick. <laughs> Yeah, next time it's gonna be quicker. <laughs> yeah. All right. But now, Shadia, how long did it take? <laughs> I have a question. How long did it take you to, to grade it, like by hand? Was it really uh, that long? Probably a little bit more than half an hour. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> That's a long. Com compared to uh, 20 seconds to half hour. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's a big difference. Um, Cynthia Seymour just put something out here in the, um, in the new question app that, that I'm using. Love Black Eyed Peas. We call it Hoppin' John in the South. Cynthia is originally from Louisiana, and um, wow. yeah. And I grew up in Georgia, and I love me some black eyed peas, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no black eyed peas with coconut in the South, I'll tell you that. I'm from New York, I'm from New York and I have, I have all their albums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, uh, oh, now I'm adding some sugar, like half a cup. All right. Get more than that in here, but it's brown sugar, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. brown sugar. But you can use white sugar too. It does not really. Doesn't matter. matter? No. It so matters you, greatly, ladies. It so, matters so, greatly. So you, you put heard? in. You 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 put in. Yeah, the brown sugar is, is better for you than the than the white. Actually, yeah, honey 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 is better. Yes, it is. Here. It's it and. Uh, Okay, so you have sugar in there and you mix it up. We have coconut in there already. Yeah, and the sugar, I must say, I put half a cup for half pounds of beans, but it's a sweet dish and you can put more if you want. Like, that's the minimum amount you can put in. Okay, and, and then when are you going to add the cornmeal? Um, the cornmeal soon because it needs to cook. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it uh, simmer for a while and then I'm going to switch to the saltfish. Okay. And come back to the cornmeal later. Okay, great, great, great. So we are going to switch to the saltfish now, or 
Yeah, I just need to put in some milk. Okay, great. It's, no. I find it intriguing that <clears throat> even though they're from another country, they add ingredients and stir the pot exactly like we do here in America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this you have to stir the pot, you know, regardless <laughs> of where you're cooking or what what country you're cooking it from I, or in. Let, let, yeah, I, 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 can vouch for, I can vouch for Jason that he knows how to stir the pot well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was going to say, I mean, uh, Jason, that's just a really brilliant observation, a pot and a spoon. What does one do with that? They do it just like us. I, I'm seeing the, the, gap, the gap of cultural diversity just lessened and lessened as with more and more Larry shows. Yeah. So now they're getting ready to do the saltfish. Now, uh, the menu, actually not the menu, the recipe is on the event. Uh, we cook with a lot of salt fish here in Trinidad and Tobago, and I guess the rest of the um, Caribbean. Uh, we saute it. We we have it in, as a cold salad in something called buljol, which is you you extract the salt from it. The the whole process is in the um, in the recipe that I I posted. But anyway, once you have um, extracted the salt, you you drain the water. You put it in a in a food processor, shred it up, or you could do it by hand. Either way, mm -hmm. and um, you add olive oil, you add uh, a couple boiled eggs, onions, Yum. and some some watercress, and you just mix it all up. Put it in the fridge. We usually have that for breakfast. That's so funny. We yeah. have something exactly very very similar in Puerto Rico. You know, you can do it at room temperature, or you can do it warm, yeah. or you can do it cold. Same thing. Love it. Yeah, Love yeah, it's, it. it's yeah, saltfish, saltfish, and well, we call it a buljol. Saltfish buljol. Yeah, I didn't know it was saltfish. For us, it's mm. um bacalao. Bacalao, yeah. Mm. We always bacalao, whales, you know. It's also the mm. name. of Papiamento, we, we use um bacalao. Yeah. Okay. Bacalao. Yeah. Yeah. Bacalao. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, on this show you're learning everything, you know. The Portuguese people in um, South Africa also eat uh, bacalao. It's very popular. Ah, okay. Yeah. So here we went from from Trinidad to Puerto Rico, back to to um, Curacao, and now to South Africa, and we all <laughs> enjoy the same thing. As but Jason you know what? Said. The, 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 fu the funny thing is, is that that saltfish is really from um, Newfoundland in Canada. Yeah, it's, and they it's, don't mess with it up there. They yeah, don't mess yeah. with it up there. They export it. They, you know, yes, they don't mess cut, with it. Cod or hat or, or hat up. That's, Haddock, that's what it's yeah. sold. Yeah. Haddock. Well, that's what bacalao is. It's it's cod, and yeah. it's a very salty fish. Mm -hmm. But they don't mess with it in Canada. They just don't mess with it. They don't eat it there. I mean, when you go there to the West Indian stores, it's like what you know. That's the only place you can rarely find it. It's not in the supermarket. Wow. Oh. True. It's a shame. Yeah. It's so good, especially on the grill. Yeah, and, yeah. and the, the, the trick is you have to extract the salt, and you extract the salt yeah. by soaking it overnight yeah. in, in, in water and um, squeeze a couple of limes in it, put a couple of limes in it. That but will... never bring the water to a boil. If you put it in warm yeah. water, if you make it boil, it gets very hard. The fish yeah. gets hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No. You soak it in, yeah. you guys just soak it in water, right? Regular yeah, just, water. Yeah, just regular, tap regular water. Uh, tap water. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's okay. true. Yes. So we're now, now, now we're getting ready to do the uh, saltfish, correct? Yeah, Ladies? I'm adding uh, onions. All right, so you're going to saute <laughs> some onions. Yeah. Lovely. While while she's doing that, we see that the tutu is simmering in a pot next to it. Yeah. This tutu is not to be confused with Desmond tutu. The, the great... Um, the great leader from South Africa, which is Richard's uh, Richard's country. I actually have his picture here, Larry. I'll flash that quickly. Yeah. So this is there you go. <laughs> there's Desmond Tutu. This dish was is not to be confused with this gentleman here. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> or, or, the, or the dish was named after him. <laughs> Alright, so I can add the green peppers, right? Yep. Right. Uh, let, let, let that take a little um yeah, yeah, right. You have it on um you have it on a, on a high fire or yeah. medium? Okay, good. Put it on fit it to medium? 
No, keep it at where it is right now. Okay. Is this, is this, is this um, pickup or just? No, it's just that green, green pepper. Green pepper. Sweet pepper. Okay. Nice. You know, I gotta say, with there's hundreds of places to get recipes online and on Google Plus. There's so many people that are, you know, getting <laughs> recipes. But you have to come to Larry's shows to find like the most diverse. There's coconut, oh, onion, no, no. Pepper, <laughs> like really wild ingredients that you would never think that go together. And to see these people that do this all the time, like right before your eyes, to have other cultures, I don't know. It's mm -hmm. just the coolest thing. Yeah, that's that's what I uh, I like with with this show. It's you know, we we in the Caribbean we have so many different cultures here, and everybody who live here have brought whatever they do from from their land to the Caribbean. So lending to a smorgasbord of just fantastic flavors and 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 but you know Larry like like Desi was saying um it seems that they're, they're a little bit um a little bit um like people bring in their cultures and then you people in the Caribbean go yeah that's nice but we're going to change it you got potatoes we're gonna add some of this. you got to add the savoir Jason did you guys see my version of the tutu <laughs> The tutu is not to be confused with Desmond Tutu or Giselle's tutu. <laughs> Giselle's name and her tutu just just matches ballet. <laughs> Put that on a plate. <sighs> okay, I'll just that's... serve it. I'll I'll wear it while I'm serving the plate, Jason. There you go. That's so... the whole point. So so now Shady is doing the getting ready to do the saltfish. She's preparing the the skillet. She yeah, added some um, add onions. The first or the saltfish first. Was that? I'm sorry. Should I add the tomatoes first or the saltfish first? No, put the, put the tomatoes in there. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. 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 Or tomatoes, as Larry says it. <laughs> some people say tomatoes. I say tomatoes. Yeah. Put the tomatoes. <laughs> so wait a minute. Where's where's da where's Daisy? She's um. She's, she's cooking. Oh, she's cooking. All right. Hello there. Hi. <laughs> I'm dropping things in, and she's stirring. Nice. Good. Good teamwork. Tag team. Yep. Rocking the whip. Teamwork. <laughs> So I'm gonna add the saltfish. I already. Uh, okay. All right. Bacalao, um, bacalao for Giselle. Sí, bacalao, nice. gracias. Okay. Jordan. All right. I almost dropped the plate in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm hearing the sizzle. So it it looks like it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it sounds good. It smells good already in here. And and Cynthia already said something. The question app is really great for audience engagement. Yes, it is, Cynthia. And uh, Taunt Jack says, um, "Oh God, I can't. Oh, I, I wish I wish Giselle could read this. In Puerto right. Rico, bacalao salad is called." Ser serenata. serenata, yes. Serenata. So bacalao salad, what we were mm. talking about is called serenata. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> yes, serenata. It's so good. And you know, you serve it at the holidays, you serve it whenever, but I love it because I love it with eggs and so good. So good. And then um, Ton, Ton Jack 77 says, how long do you have to saute? Actually, Don Jack, you could saute the onions and the um, the green peppers for maybe two to three minutes. You know, just make sure that once once the onions start um, getting transparent, um, you know they're they're done. So you could then um, add your saltfish or oh, your tomatoes, sorry, and then your saltfish. Did um Shady, good, did you good guys, question. Yeah, did you guys start what did you start sauteing first? Um the onions first. 
Okay. So and you're not. It was supposed to be onions and garlic, but I threw in the garlic later on. I forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. As, as and, long as the as long as the garlic joined the the, the pool, you know, every, everything is good. Yeah, it's all good. it needs to be in there. Yeah. I'm gonna put just a bit of a uh, pepper, black pepper, mm -hmm. and uh, thyme. I don't have the fresh one, but that's that's I'll, okay. I'll just keep the packaged one. Yeah. Do you guys normally cook with thyme and curacao? Um, some people do. Yeah, because that's not that's definitely not typical of of Puerto Ricans. You know, we're about oregano, bay leaf. Mm. Um, cilantro, culantro, mm -hmm. that type of thing, but we're not much for thyme and rosemary, obviously. That seems more French. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and it's interesting you say that, Giselle, because here in Trinidad, since we had um, French influence, yeah. you know, we, we do cook with rosemary and with thyme. Hmm. It's, it's hey, Giselle, just remember, we always have time for you. <gasps> oh, George, you say the sweetest things, my pirate booty. Um, uh oh, <laughs> George! It's time to start back the private club, buddy. We need the pub. We need the pub. Oh. Uh, uh, let, I, let, since, since we're on the pub subject, we're gonna come back to the kitchen shortly. Um, George, Captain Sepich. Yes. When is the pub coming back? Uh, people have been asking me. I know. We just keep building that anticipation. Uh, I, all right. <laughs> Good answer. Good yeah. answer. Uh, we'll, okay, we'll, George. We'll, 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 let them, we'll let them know. Everybody just keep holding on to the edge of their seats, and we'll, we'll let you know. George, it was a nice punt at the beginning of football season. Lovely. Uh, all right. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, um, Fort Jack also says, uh, do you have the salted... Do you have to be salted the saltfish? Yes, um, um, Ton Jack. This you you can get the fish salted. It's better that way than just getting regular fish. Um, the saltfish you can get it at some Asian stores if you're um, in the United States or West Indian stores. Oh, saltfish here in the United States you can salt, get salt, and... saltfish, salt, oh, salt, salt, S A L T, not sword, salt. Good, good question though. Speak English. Uh, it's, it's a pity you can't smell. I know. <laughs> I know. It looks. It looks. It looks it great. So it looks nice. great. The whole kitchen. I, yeah. I'm it's, hungry. You know, it's it's interesting because it's starting. It looks like a serenata. I mean, it. That's. It's what it's really? looking. Yeah. You know. I mean, it's we chop differently and things like that. Yeah. But from what yeah. I can see in here, it would be a serenata. You know. Now. Interesting. Looks close, like two girls in a trying to propose to me. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> <laughs> Winning me over. All right, add uh, a little ketchup to it. Yeah, yeah, add a little ketchup. Oh dear God, she's just ruined the serenata. Uh oh. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Ketchup. Right, we ketchup. go to Curacao. We definitely ketchup. went from Puerto Rico to Curacao. <laughs> Ketchup, 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 ketchup is Trini's secret ingredient. We put ketchup in everything. True. <laughs> you, don't, you guys don't use mayonnaise. Like that's no. the thing we love here. We, we don't. We don't. We don't use mayo. We don't oh, use mayo. I love mayo. But, but we would use a lot of ketchup. I mean, I have, I have gone. The mayo. I, I have gone to to pizza places here in Trinidad, and people put ketchup on pizza. I was like. Oh. Sack. Sacrilege! <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, Larry, what's, a, what's happened to the um the matooks, Larry? Do you not use matooks down there? Yeah, we have we have matooks. Yeah, we, we we um we have our own brand of ketchup down here. We have, so we don't rely on you know foreign brands. Well, it looks good. It looks like it's just adding a little bit of tomato, a little bit of salt. Really, it's yeah, you know, like a sauce. Just to give the extra the extra touch. And and I mean we we grow a lot of tomatoes down here in Trinidad, so um, some some people just love their their tomato sauce. And um, you know I have to tell you about the mayonnaise. Just going back to it. First of all, I can't stand mayonnaise except in very small quantities. But when I was growing up, of course, it was there was because of all the heat. If the mayonnaise ruins, you get sick. So that's yeah. why we use very very little mayonnaise in the tropics because it, if yeah. you if it if it goes exactly. bad, you get sick. So. Exactly. 
Exactly. Uh, we're so. very Dutch, so mayonnaise is a huge part. You get it at all the fast food restaurants, like with your meal, unlike in Trinidad. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shadia, you would love here. There's um, I was just in the store recently. There's so many different types of mayo now. They make bacon mayonnaise and spicy mayonnaise and wasabi mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Yeah. Uh, you get shelves full of like like hot sauces, but now with mayonnaise, where you can just go crazy. Um, taste taste it, Shadia, to make sure yeah. that it's it's I'll to your taste liking. Taste it. Yeah. Yes. Um, Fort Jack seventy seven said uh, he asked about the sawfish again. Yes, you need to put it in the water, um, for Jack, for yeah. Jack. Yeah. When, when you, yeah, that's Jerome. Hey, Jerome. Hi, Jerome. Um, so here's the thing about about bacalao or cod or saltfish. When it comes, it's not like a fresh fish. It's been salted. Yeah. Right, so it's, and it's a drier fish mm -hmm. anyway. So you've got to let that soak. Yep. Because it, it does two things: remove the salt and rehydrate the fish to to expand it a little, yep. to soften it up. Yeah. I think I put just a little bit too much thyme in it. So That's okay. Time is time. Time is good, as George <laughs> said. Um, but it's good. We, we we have time. We have time for you, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start. Um, so that's done. I'm gonna start with the tutu now. Okay. To finish it um, with the cornmeal. All right. So, so right now, gonna... um, I'll change the. Watch oh, all yeah. your hands. That was hot. <laughs> Don't don't forget to turn off the burner. Right. Yeah. You don't yeah. wanna you don't wanna reach over and and, and burn yourself. Because this video will definitely go viral. <laughs> Larry, I pulled up a picture of what saltfish looks like just to show people. Okay, great, great. So you can see it's very uh, let dry. Me, let me flip over. Yep, there it is. That's it. This looks a little more yellow than it usually looks. I don't know why. But. <laughs> I, I think it's the, the lighting. Of, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. That's yeah. bacalao. But, yeah, it's, it's usually whiter, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jason. All right, All right so, so I'm going to show you some interesting kitchen utensils we have in Curacao. That's a typical one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the falilele or the whisk. <laughs> and it's All missing right. a piece, but this is how you, what you do with it. We, yeah, we have something very similar to that here in Trinidad called a swizzle stick. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, as, a, as a matter of fact, let, let me go and get my pakilele or swizzle stick. <laughs> so I'm gonna start um, whisking the the tutu with it, just to make sure the beans break up a little bit. You mean you're actually gonna do some stirring? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're We're swizzling. spinning, spinning the tutu, spinning yeah, the spin tutu. Spinning the tutu, <laughs> shake <laughs> All right. While while she's spinning it, this is this is our version here of the swizzle stick, very similar. It's made of, of wood. Oh. And oh yeah, it looks. That's similar. what it looks like. And then the we have another one with a, with a wire mesh at the bottom. Oh my God, that's what that's for. My mother used to beat me with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it, it it can also double as a switch. <laughs> you got horrible memories. <laughs> All right, back back to the swizzling now. Yeah. Oh, it just feels like old times in here in the hangout. George yeah. is going to pass out at some point. We'll have to wake <laughs> him up at the end. Uh, okay. So now I'm going to use the pali which is a stick we use to make cornmeal with. Okay. Let's see that again. Let's see that again. It's... All but right. instead of that, you can also use one of these, like the wooden, these type of wooden sticks. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, a spoon, yeah. But I'll, I'll use the <laughs> other one. <laughs> Otherwise known as a spoon. Oh, a wooden, sorry. Oh, oh, a wooden oh, spoon. Oh, a wooden spoon. Oh, a spatula. Doesn't matter. <laughs> like, I'm going to break this branch off this tree, and I'm going to start with it. 
Jason, you're going back in time again. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna do the. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna add the cornmeal. By the way, I use yellow cornmeal because mm -hmm. I like that better. Um, and I think most people use that too. But I've had it with white cornmeal too, and uh, it, it it changes the taste just a little bit. Yeah, that's what we usually use here in Trinidad when we make our cuckoo. Yeah, which is which is like, like yeah like a, like the polenta. Um, we use the uh, yellow pomosa, pomosa cornmeal from um, Colombia. That's what we yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we use yeah, here. Yeah, that that's yeah. what you use. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, that that's 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 the best cornmeal. I that's the best. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I have in here. Yeah. In South Africa, we call it milli meal. Milli meal, yes. Milli is our word for corn. Milli meal, and uh, it's also like a polenta that people make from very similar. We call it milli pup. Milli a pup is like a polenta. Mm. Good. So we have different versions of of the polenta. So you 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 put it in there yet, Shadia? No, not yet. I just grabbed something to hold on to the pot with. Okay. I'm put it in slowly. Slowly. Yep. <laughs> it is, that's slowly. <laughs> and I'm gonna stir. And as you stir, it will start to thicken. Yeah. Yeah. Because what's happening? The polenta, I mean, the cornmeal is starting to cook and bind everything together. Larry, can we blue box the the pot? There we go. Yeah, I'm, I've 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 already blue boxed it. You you have to oh. blue box it on your yeah, own. Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah. well, you know. It wasn't coming up for me. It was just your lovely face. Oh. <laughs> Bless, you. Bless you. Salud. Gesund Gesundheit. 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 <laughs> so what is right. this called that you're making with the beans or with the black-eyed peas? Tutu. This, this is a tutu. Oh, That's this a tutu. is... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a different kind of tutu you have in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like I said, it's it not to be confused. Tutu. It's not to be confused with Desmond to or Giselle's tutu. It's like the way exercises, right? Can we check the yeah. um the the I was I'm going to I don't well anyway I was gonna say Jason why don't you check to see if anybody's commenting I don't want to screw up the the stream so. No, I'm good. No, um, I, I have the I have the answer um the question app on and people are. Asking questions on my stream, but you could check the um, event stream. I haven't checked the event. Um, there haven't been any questions. There were some people. Maggie was exclaiming about the ketchup on the pizza. Yeah, I okay. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, people gotta uh, learn to eat. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's okay. what that's what it look is look like now. So how you test it is you. If the stick can stick like that and stand uh, up, uh -huh. it's done. Yeah. Nice. So I'm gonna get some plates. Don't forget to turn off your stove again. We don't want you catching. We, we don't want you catching on fire. <laughs> so now you're gonna be ready to plate. Oh, and I should mention to folks that uh, Sharia did some plantains before we went live, and they look lovely. Um, last week, I know uh, Mike Bennett was supposed to have done some plantains, but unfortunately, he didn't get any ripe ones, so we kind of just showed people what ripe plantains, plantains should look like. And, um, and there we go. Yeah, I don't know if you can. Yeah, she's plating it now. She's taking out the tutu from the pot. The tutu comprises Ooh. of um, black eyed peas that's been cooked for a long time with some sugar added. Coconut. Cornmeal. Coconut. Um, a what else? A little bit of milk. Uh, and you know, actually, actually, you could have. Um, I was wondering if you could use coconut milk along with the grated coconut. It will give it a nice, that would be nice. Co True. coconutty flavor. Instead of the coconut itself, they put mm. coconut milk. 
but mm. the real coconut gives it a better um, taste, you know. Yeah. So this is what we do. We press it like this so it becomes like a cake. Okay. And the plates are slightly wet. Ah. When I pull it off, ta-da. Okay, can so now... Move, can you move the pot? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 This is, but this is for more than one person, right? Right, of course. That's for like a family. It's like four people can eat out of this. Mm -hmm. Depends on how much you eat, of course. <laughs> um, Gust Schmedge asks, what, what food is this? This is tutu with saltfish. Um, she's getting ready to plate it in a few seconds. <clears throat> and... Everybody in the hangout does saltfish a little differently because you know this is a world hangout here. We have <laughs> we're well represented. We have George in Texas, Giselle in California by way of Puerto Rico, Jason in New York by way of Italy, Marsha, Jamaica, Florida by way of Jamaica, Richard, South Africa, South Africa, and Shadia and Daisy. In Curacao. And you in Trinidad. And I'm in Trinidad, yeah. This is nuts. <laughs> we are the world. We are the world. We are the world. We are the world. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You don't, wait, 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 wait. You, don't have to, you don't have to worry about any copyright uh, violations because nobody in the world would recognize that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's I'm nuts. That's nuts. <laughs> oh, I love. Okay, and what do we have? Here. Okay, the plantains. Yeah. Nice. 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 This is a fried plantains. I'm just gonna put it. Um, yes. Yeah, like I was telling you folks, she did it earlier before we went live. Shady, my you, answer is yes. What did you fry them in? Um, just regular oil. Um, mm -hmm. wait, let me see what, which one it is. A canola. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know if there's like a chef, uh, how do you say, <laughs> advice for frying it, but we just use whatever oil we have. Yeah. Well, we we, we have um, a lot of coconut oil down here, so we use coconut yeah. oil. Yeah, you can use that. You can also do a half and half if you want butter, mm. or you can mix oils, things like that. Oh, that that saltfish looking good. Yeah, so I have it served here. So let's have the plate. You have it plated? All right. If you could put, put the plate over um, stove top cam. Oh. Move, right. move, move, move the stuff on the stove and um, just have the, the plate there so Richard could take some photos or Giselle or, or Jason. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Who's taking yeah. the pictures? If, if you could hold it up to Jadio. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right there. All right, Shady, my answer is yes. I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> the boyfriend is sitting here. The Don't boyfriend do is right here. Don't do it, Shady. Don't do it. <laughs> There's a stay reason away. his background is always black. Stay away, stay away from the light. Stay away from the light, Shady. Stay away from the light. <laughs> Don't go into the light. <laughs> All right. You got, you got the shot? Yep, we got the shot. Who okay. took shots? I didn't hear the snap. Uh, it's because I muted myself. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, Richard, Richard take some great shots. Yeah. yeah. Let me take another Okay. One. All right. So you ladies did a wonderful job. Uh, you could get sh you could see Shadia on G+. She does um, an excellent travel um, page. Well, what's the name of it? Curacao 411. Yes. Curacao 411, and she also, um, she's an expert on Curacao. She does everything Curacao. Um, yeah, the page, is, the page is brand new. Just started yeah. last Sunday. Yeah, a brand, brand new page. All right, and um, Giselle does Eco Rico TV. Eco Rico, baby. Eco Rico, <laughs> baby. So, Eco Rico, when, when are we doing another show? Do you know that we were supposed to do a show today? Did you get I the, know. the... I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we were supposed to do a 
show today, man. It came across on my calendar. I was like, oh, whoops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing some curacao cooking today. Um, well, yeah, so, um, folks. Soon, my friend, soon. But you can go to the page, which at this point I think we have passed 100,000 followers. Awesome. Yeah. Ico Rico, Ico Rico. Buena, buena, buena. So the, the next, the, the next time you see me, folks, I'll be in Denver for the Hurl, which is in a couple weeks. So I will be cooking Caribbean over there. And uh, then, we, and then I will be cooking. I will tell you when I get to Denver where I'll be cooking next. <laughs> okay, and I guess I'll keep that quiet too then, Larry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, jo George was instrumental in coming up with the name, by the way. So uh, I, that, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. <laughs> but, and the but, Pirates Pub is coming. Uh, that, 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 that is George, get off your Pirates booty and get it going. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Daisy and Shadia, you guys were wonderful. Thank you for joining yeah. us. You did a fantastic job. I love the tutu and the saltfish with the plantains. Yeah. Um, you could also, folks, if you want to throw a nice little green salad in there, you can you can do it um, to sort of mix it up. Uh, Shadia, tell us again the name of the page. Yeah, my page is... Oh, sorry. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Oh yeah, the name of the page is Curacao 411. That's where I post uh, information about Curacao on Google+. And then I also have my uh, vacation blog, which is curacaovacationblog.com. Um, that's where I write very interesting information about Curacao for visiting and uh, facts that you might have not known. I just posted you an have infographic. Love the tutu and the soul with the plantains. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can also... You want to draw a nice little stuff? Right. Uh, and then, um, Daisy, tell us what you do at the um, Express. At the Amigo Express, I'm the Amigo manager. Express. It's a five months old newspaper, a positive newspaper about Curacao, and we have also international news. So don't forget to like us on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Google Plus, you gotta get on Google Plus now. That's the F word. Yeah, we don't up. we we don't use the F word on on, on G Plus. I was gonna say she used the word. She used the word. Cut it off. Why are we talking about why are we talking about travel? Marsha does travel also. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, Marsha, what, what what's your travel page? Uh it's Crystal Connections and on, on the web, Crystal Blue Connections. And um, you can go there. There's a ton. Every Thursday, I post something on G, um, G Plus with regards to travel and the deals. We do have groups that come down to Curacao, Shadia. So it, I would okay. love to chat with you sometime and, and just ask you to, you know, maybe give me some <laughs> some ideas on what, what we can do when my group comes down there. Okay. Of course. Thank you. And Great. this is Larry from the Lathe saying thanks to George, Giselle. Jason, Marsha, Richard, Shadia, and Daisy saying goodbye from Trinidad and Tobago. See you guys in Denver. Adios. So from Bye. 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 Bye.